If you've ever wanted to build your own smoker, this is the video for you. Hey guys, this is Steve from Cookout Coach, where we're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level, no matter what you need. Today what we're going to be talking about is my new competition smoker build. So if you've been with the channel for long, you know that a huge passion of mine is competition barbecue. KCBS announcing they're going to have a backyard team, team of the year race in chicken and ribs this year, I knew we had to get a little bit more serious and we're probably going to compete a lot more. With that, I wanted to build a new smoker that was a little bit more road worthy than what I usually use. And that's when we found it, the Franken Cube. When I first found old posts of the Franken Cube, I knew that this was the cooker that would meet my needs. I contacted Frank Cox over at Smoker Builder Manufacturing and SmokerPlans.net to see if he had the plans for the cube. He told me he never released the plans for the original cube, but he thought if the audience would want to see it enough, he'd release a new set of plans. And that's exactly what we did. And this is where our journey starts. $80 into a set of plans, a stack of steel sitting back in the shop, and it's go time. It's time to get started on day one. Now I'm going to let you know at the end of this series exactly how much I'm into it for everything because sometimes you think building a smoker is going to be cheaper and you end up spending the same amount of money. So hang in there till the end, we'll get you the exact cost breakdown of everything I've spent. But for day one, we've already got our steel at the shop, let's get there. Now I'm not a fabricator and I've never built my own smoker. So before we head out to get started on this, I'm going to give Frank a call and get a few pieces of advice. This is Frank. Hey Frank, it's Steve. Oh, hey Steve, what's happening, man? Hey, I'm getting ready to head out to the shop to start working on the cube. You got any pieces of advice for me? Because I've never done anything like this. What I would tell you... Um, I mean, if you've got, you know, minimal equipment to work with or a buddy that can weld or, you know, anything like that, or if you're just wanting to hire somebody to do it for you, what I would tell you the easiest place to start is to, uh, you know, like get a set of plans, you know, I mean, what's going to happen is, is that you, you look at the cost of material and things like that. And, you know, a set of plans is cheap insurance basically to protect you during your build. Um, I mean, you know, a sheet of metal these days, if you get a good price on it, you know, you're paying between 65 cents and a buck a pound for the metal and a sheet of quarter inch plate, you know, it weighs 510 pounds or something like that, if I remember correctly. So, uh, that's just off the top of my head, but, um, you know, 500 pounds, that's pretty good price, uh, you know, for steel right there. It's a chunk of money. So, you know, uh, I would recommend that you start with a set of plans is, is probably the best advice I can give you. Um, you know, it's also going to help you ensure that, you know, with all the math and everything that goes into it, um, it's, it's not going to feel like, uh, you know, you're going to screw this thing up or anything like that. Because all the ratios, all the math, you know, all that stuff's already taken care of. It's just going to make it easy for you just to look at something and build um, and, and go from there, you know. Cool. Now, one thing, part of building this as my own cooker, I love your plans, but I want to make some modifications to make it my own. Is that cool? Is that going to work out all right for me? Yeah, you can totally make it, like the way you want to make it like uh, I encourage that matter of fact I'll help you figure that out over the phone um, anytime you buy plans uh, a set of our plans my phone number is right on the plans you can call me as much as you want and uh, you know you're not gonna drive me crazy because that's the that's the geek in me that's the part that likes to just sit there and and uh, you know mess around with the cooker and and help you tweak things and we learn from that and hopefully you'll learn from it too and have a great experience with your first build. Um, you're not gonna regret it, but yeah, customize all you want. Add add shelves, you know, if you need it to be a slightly different size, we can talk through that, you know. Anything like that you wanna do, just, just yeah, you can, you can customize it all you want. Awesome, brother, awesome. Look, folks are gonna see this thing and ask me, what is the story behind this beast? So, 
I don't know if I've ever talked to you about this, but how did this thing come to be in the first place? You know, I'll be honest with you, the story behind that cooker, um, you know, we, we wanted, we, we knew an old boy named we, that we call Snail. Let's start there. And, uh, you know, Snail invented a cooker called the Ugly Drum. And uh, anyway, uh, I ran into him at a barbecue contest once up in Kansas City, and, and it's called uh, uh, Smoking on Big Creek was the contest. And uh, anyway, at that contest, he had this box, and he called it the Dump Star, is what he called it. I thought it was just a storage chest or whatever. But what we decided to do is uh, kind of follow his model with that square box. And the thing is, is at the time, it was really hard to find new barrels that were cheap, because uh, really nobody was making barrels back then. This is, shoot, back in, uh, oh gosh, I want to say like 2013, maybe, is when this was. And, uh, you know, we could have barrels made and all that, but they were really expensive. So we decided to make a square cooker. That's where the Franken cube got started. Um, we just bent it out of, just made a square box that was 30 by 30, and uh, we made it cook like an ugly drum. And since then, there's been five different versions of that cooker. Um, you know, and, and we've got actually the, the production model that we're trying to decide if we're going to let this thing out yet or not because it's crazy. I got one sitting right over there uh, in the showroom. But uh, anyway, the production model is off the charts. And so since we're not ready to release our version, our newest version of the Franken Cube, we went back about three versions ago and uh, took all the things that we loved the best about it. Um, if you ever look at my social media, that's all like the, the black cooker with the green flames on it, right? And uh, it's called the Franken Cube XL. And what I did is uh, me and uh, our drafting team, we looked at the new version of the cooker and the old version of the cooker, and we kind of made a hybrid, took some of the new features and put it on that model cooker. And uh, I mean, the thing is going to purr. You're going to love it. Here's the deal. Uh, it's made out of 12 gauge is what we show on it. And uh, it's a square uh, cooker. You know, this is the original square ugly drum that you see everybody trying to make these days. And uh, it's going to cook just like an ugly drum, man. You're going to love it. You know, if, if you want to share this on your YouTube channel, that's totally fine with me. Um, you know, just uh, if people have any questions about this cooker, the best way to get a hold of me I'm incredibly accessible right now. So if you decide you want to call me and get on the phone, the best number to call is 573-612-1315. That rings straight to my phone here, and uh, that's the number you just called on. And, uh, you know, the other way to get a hold of me is through Messenger on Facebook. Um, just You can hit me, just type in Smoker Builder in Facebook and search if you're not already friends with me or something on there or don't know what our page is. Um, you can search there and add me, or you can go to our page, smokerbuilder.com Facebook page, and, uh, you know, any other social media platform. I'm on all of them. I post way too much. <laughs> so, all right, dude. Well, that's awesome talking to you, man. I cannot wait to see your build come together. Just, uh, you know, make sure and tag me in all your social media stuff. I, I really, really, really want to watch your build come together. And, uh, you know, you can always post in our forums, uh, you know, Facebook group and on smokerbuilder.com forums as well. So, all right, dude. Well, have a good day, man. Appreciate talking to you. All right, brother. I appreciate your time. Hey, man. Frank and Cube Cookout Coach Edition begins now. All right, guys. Here we are. Day one of the Frank and Cube Cookout Coach Edition build for the 2020 comp season. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but we got some steel here. We got some steel here. We got some steel here. We got the know-how how to build this thing. We're gonna bring you along for the journey. Y'all hang on. Now I've never worked with metal much before, but I've worked a lot with wood. And I'm approaching this project the exact same way I would if I was building a piece of furniture. We're gonna start with the raw materials, which is this huge four by 10 foot sheet of eighth inch steel. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it up so we can go ahead and start cutting out the sides. Our goal today is we want to get this cooker formed up all four walls and get as much welded into it as we can. I'm going to initially mark down our lines with a sharpie. Then we're going to take a cutting wheel on an angle grinder. We'll go ahead and score those marks into the metal so they won't go away while we're trying to cut them. We sort of had a conversation and a little test to see what would work best to cut these sheets out. We tried the angle grinder. 
The angle grinder works great, but it takes a little bit to get through an eighth inch piece of steel. We tried a reciprocating saw with the metal blade. This actually worked a lot better than I thought it would, but it beats on you pretty hard. We finally decided on the torch. It leaves you with some more grind and clean if you have to do when you're done, but man, it's a lot easier to blow through that metal. With our four sides cut out and edges cleaned up, it was time to break out the welder. At our house, that means it's the classic Lincoln Tombstone stick welder. It's hard to argue with a piece of fabrication history. We found the most level spot on the floor we could, placed all of our factory edges down, and begin to weld in some 90 degree angles. Now while this steel is thick, it does have some bow to it, so we kind of had to work it down slowly, but before you know it, our metal's glued to metal. At this point, we're kind of looking like we built a large garbage can instead of a smoker. There is just something so cool about welding metal to metal. Full disclosure here, my brother's the welder and I'm more of a gopher. That just means I get to get really cool footage like this of the weld bead forming from the outside of the cooker. Being close to the end of day one, we decided it was time to go ahead and add a few of these rails to also add some rigidity to this body. So that's pretty much how day one went. Cutting, grinding, welding, grinding, cutting, welding, grinding, and so on and so forth. All right, guys, so that's it. End of day one, working on the Franken Cube Cookout Coach Edition from Smoker Builder Manufacturing, uh, smokerplans.net. Go check out Frank, see what he's got going on. But this is how far we made it today. You can see it might not look like a lot, but we spent a lot of the day welding, a lot of the day cutting out pieces of eighth inch steel, which that's, this thing is heavy. It is big and heavy. Like, I'll be impressed when it's done. The amount of food that we will fill in this, it's going to be nuts. But yeah, we've got our great racks in, our heat diffuser rack in, everything set up for the the angles for the lid it's going well so you know we'll see how far we get day two but uh till then if you're thinking about whether we're going to run charcoal briquettes or lump charcoal in here you know watch check out this video see the differences and we'll see you in a few